Hey there, tech explorers. Ever stop to think about that little card in your phone? You know, the one smaller than your fingernail? That's your SIM card. And believe it or not, it's the tiny brain behind your phone's connection to the world. We're so used to calls, texts and scrolling through cat videos that we forget this little wonder makes it all possible. Without it, your phone's just a fancy calculator. The SIM card is your personal key, letting you unlock the vast network of mobile communication. But how does something so small do so much? Well, that's what we're going to uncover today. Get ready to journey into the secret world of SIM card factories, where we'll reveal the magic behind their creation. From raw materials to your pocket, we'll break down the making of this everyday marvel. So, buckle up tech fans, it's about to get interesting. Our journey begins with something surprisingly ordinary, sand. Yes, you heard that right. SIM cards, like most electronics, start their life as humble silicon extracted from sand. This silicon is purified and transformed into shiny, circular wafers, the stage upon which our tiny technological drama will unfold. Imagine these wafers as giant pizzas, ready to be sliced into thousands of individual SIM card chips. These chips are incredibly small, but don't let their size fool you. They're packed with microscopic circuitry, ready to store your digital life. The process is like a well-choreographed dance. Machines with incredible precision etch intricate patterns onto the silicon wafers, creating the pathways for electricity to flow. It's like building a miniature city with tiny roads and buildings, all designed to carry information at lightning speed. This is where the magic of modern manufacturing shines. It's a symphony of technology, with lasers, chemicals and robots working in perfect harmony to create the brains behind our connected world. Now that we have our chips, it's time to give them a personality, a digital identity that sets them apart. This is where the magic of programming comes in. Think of it like this. Each SIM card is like a blank passport, ready to be personalized with your unique information. This includes your phone number, network identification details, and even storage space for contacts and messages. This information is meticulously etched onto the chip using highly specialized equipment. It's like a digital fingerprint, ensuring that your SIM card and therefore your phone is uniquely yours. But it's not just about storing information. The programming process also defines how your SIM card interacts with the network. It's like teaching it the language of mobile communication, allowing it to send and receive data, making calls and sending texts possible. This stage is all about precision and accuracy. One tiny error in the programming and the entire chip could be useless. Luckily, these factories are equipped with state-of-the-art technology and rigorous quality control measures to ensure every SIM card performs flawlessly. Section 4. Card carrying member from chip to pocket. Our tiny chip, now imbued with its digital identity, is ready for its final transformation. It's time to give it a more recognizable form, the plastic SIM card we all know and sometimes love. Remember those SIM card trays in your phones? The chip needs a place to fit snugly and that's where the plastic card comes in. It acts as a protective shell, shielding the delicate chip from damage and making it easier to handle. The chip is carefully embedded into the plastic card using a process called encapsulation. It's like tucking the chip into bed, surrounding it with a protective layer of plastic that keeps it safe and secure. But it's not just about protection. The plastic card also provides space for those all important golden contact points. These points are like tiny bridges allowing your phone to communicate with the chip and access all the information stored within. With the chip safely nestled in its plastic home, our SIM card is almost ready for the real world. But first it has to pass one final test. Section 5. SIM City, a global journey. Before our SIM card can connect you to the world, it undergoes a rigorous testing process. This is like a final exam, ensuring that it meets the highest standards of quality and performance. Each card is put through its paces, tested for its ability to make and receive calls, send and receive texts, and connect to the internet. It's like a mini Olympics for SIM cards, where only the best performers make it to the finish line. Once our SIM card gets the green light, it's ready to be packaged and shipped to mobile network operators worldwide. These operators then distribute the SIM cards to stores and online retailers, making them available to eager customers like you. And there you have it. The next time you slip that tiny SIM card into your phone, 
Take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey it's been on, from humble grains of sand to a pocket-sized powerhouse. The SIM card is a testament to human ingenuity and our insatiable desire to connect. So go ahead, make that call, send that text, and explore the digital world. Your SIM card is ready to take you there.